Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and today we're going to do a project, and we're going to use some of the paper and embellishments and things from the May, yes, May kit. All right, so this is what we're going to make today, and it is a little portfolio, mini album, wallet, whatever you want to call it. I'll show you how it folds up. It's not hard at all. Uh, everything that's on here is in your kit with the exception of the twine and you know you can tie it with whatever you can even put a magnet on there we didn't include the black cardstock because we figured that most everybody out there has black cardstock we wanted to include the colored cardstock that goes with your kit instead of putting a black piece in there we wanted to be able to put the colored in there because not everyone has the colors that match up with the kit so, um, this folds over like that, that one that way, that that way, like this, and then this folds up, folds over again, and then this comes like that, this goes around, and under, and tie right there in the front, and then it's just a little portfolio, so let's go ahead and tie this. And then I just left just enough to tie this in a little knot, just a little slip knot, because this is going to my grandson. It's got exactly 12 sheets on here where I can put photos for every year. Since he will be graduating in 17 days, I can put, you know, his first grade, second grade, third grade, on like that, all the way up until his senior picture. And then it's got a little pocket where I can slide a gift card, money, or whatever down in there. And I met, I left the paper, I used all of the back sides of the paper just so that I could make it more manly and not so girly by using the florals and all of that. But that is what we're going to make today. So let's get started. So you're going to have in your kit one of these um, large tags. And this measures, let me see if I can get a hold of my ruler here. This measures three and seven eighths by eight and three quarters. This is the same size of those large graphic 45 tags. So you're going to have one of these in your kit. And you're going to have one of these um, eyelets right here. The metal large eyelet. It needs to be cut 12 by 10 and a quarter. So I'm just going to lay this up on my scoreboard and trim this off. 10 and a quarter. So 12 by 10 and a quarter. I'm not sure that I have that right. Now I'm using a piece that's very thick. You do not have to use a real thick piece because this is going to be layered, so it's not going to have to be as thick as this one. This is just one I grabbed out, so we're going to go with it. All right, on the 10 and 1 quarter inch side, you're going to score at 2 and 1 quarter. All the way down. And at 6 and 1 quarter. And then you're going to turn it clockwise. So you're going to turn it to the right. And you're going to score at three and seven eighths, so three and seven eighths, four and one eighth. Whoa. Told you this is thick. If I don't really bear down, it goes off at eight inches and at eight and one quarter. Okay. That was three and seven eighths, four and one eighth, eight inches, and eight and a quarter. Now, all of these measurements will be on the blog as well as the PDF that I send to you guys over in the group, in the E Club Kit group. So, if you're not a member of our E Club Kit, I think we have two May kits left, and you get exclusive PDF files and some videos. Probably, I usually do three or four videos myself, and then our design team does two or three a month, too. So you have access to all of those videos, which will give you lots of ideas of things to do. So, wait. Before we put this away, what we're going to do is go ahead and score our tag. Now, your tag is a thick 
craft paper, so it'll be thicker than mine. Mine is not made out of the paper that yours is made out of. But you're going to score at two. Make sure that this is pointing to the right when you score. So your little eyelet needs to be pointing to the right. Score at two, at five and three quarters, right there, and at six. So that's two, five and three quarters, and six. Now we can cut our scoreboard away. So go ahead and fold and burnish your score lines. Now I had somebody that <laughs> made a comment and told me that it was really irritating when I laid my bone folder down on this glass. This is a glass of mat that it, it irritated her. It was like somebody scraping their fingernails on a chalkboard. I apologize for that. I don't realize a lot of times that I'm laying it down and it's making that noise because when you're on this end and you get to really crafting, you forget. So I will try my best to do better. I, I like my mat, so I don't want to replace it. I really like how it works and I don't have to put things down when I want to emboss or anything like that so I won't be replacing it but I will try to lay my bone folder down over that way from now on and I'll try to hold it in my hand until I finish and then lay it down because I know sometimes a sound is pretty irritating See, this is so thick, I'm having a hard time folding it. Okay. Now, there's what we have right there. So we have these two little lines in there. We have the short pieces up here and then the longer pieces down here. You want to put these longer pieces facing you, or down this way. And then you want to come in with your scissors and you want to cut away right here and I'm going to use a different pair of scissors. I don't particularly like them for doing this. So cut away right there. Now we're going to take these little pieces right here out. I'm just going to take my scissors and snip them like that. Just like that. Then you're going to turn it around and you're going to do the same thing to these two. You're just going to leave the center one intact. Okay, so now that is what you have right there. Now on this center piece right here, we're going to take a half an inch off of that. So all I'm going to do is... I'm going to put my Tim Holtz ruler down there, and I'm going to take my pencil, wherever it might be, there we go, and I'm just going to draw a line, and then we're just going to cut that off. Now on these, these two, you want to round the corners, so just go ahead and snip those off. And then on this one right here, you just want to kind of square the corner off. So just cut a little square off there like that. Just makes it a little bit more interesting when you start putting things together. So that is what we have so far. Now with, with this being the top, these being to your right, and then these shorter ones to your left, you want to take your tag, we're going to put glue all over the back right here. And what you're going to do with this is take it in that first center square there, and you're just going to line it up with those. Hopefully, I won't get my head in the shot, but I got to try to look over it. So line it up in between those score lines, just like that, and then press it down. So this is going to be what closes your album up. All right, now it's just a matter of putting your mats on. Now, I'm going to double mat mine because I'm just going to use up some scraps. These are scraps that I had in my stash, these pieces right here. So, I'm going to use up some scraps on this. I'm going to double mat it. I'm going to put a cream color down and then my paper from the kit. 
So you're going to need 11 of these pieces right. at three and a half by three and three eighths. So you're just going to glue all of these down, uh, just like that, all the way around. Be one here, 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 and here, and then on the back side. You can put one in here if you want to, but I'm going to make this a pocket, so I think I might cover that with something else. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Now for these pieces right here, this one and this one, you're going to need four pieces, one for each side, or two for each side. That is two inches by three and a half, and you're going to round one of the corners, or two of the corners. Around that one, and we're going to round this one. Then for the center one right here, you're going to need a piece that is one and three eighths by three and a half. Well, I rounded these and I squared those off, but it doesn't square them off if you want to, but I rounded them. I see so you can use up lots of scraps on this, and you don't have to put the same color paper on each one of these. Because you might, if you're doing this for a graduation, you might want to start off with, um, you know, the grammar school, some of the colors that were good for that. And then as you get on up to high school, then you can go into more adult looking colors, if that makes any sense. All right, we've got those mats down. Now for these mats that come out of our paper pack, I just cut them at three by three so that I wouldn't have to use a lot of the paper. I think I only used two sheets of our paper on this, maybe two and a half sheets. So it still looks fine and it's still big enough for a nice size photo, so that's all I wanted. So we're going to put these down in different areas. You don't have to worry about which way it's turned because it's, it is a three by three. Now for these pieces right here, you're going to need four that are one and three quarter by three and a quarter. And then for the center one, you're going to need two that are one inch by three and a quarter. Turn all of the floral paper to the inside. And the reason I'm doing that is if I decide to give it to my grandson, put some things in here, his pictures and that kind of thing, it will be more uh, gender friendly, let's say that. <laughs> Even though he does like flowers, he works in, in a flower uh, shop a lot, so he does love flowers. But I just decided to do it this way, and then when I put his photo down there, just a little bit of that will show, and I think that'll be nice. But you can turn it whichever way you want. The paper is beautiful on both sides. So on the one side it's the striped and the, and then the other side you've got the floral and the trucks. He loves the trucks, so I'll probably put the trucks somewhere on the outside. Now for this right here, I'm going to take my glue. I'm just going to run a little bead on the edge. And then I'm going to close this down. And that creates a pocket right there that I can put a gift card or something in. And I don't know what I'm going to put there yet. I'm still trying to decide if I'm, so I'm going to fold that one over, fold that over, fold that one over, that one over, this one over, that one over, and then fold them up. And then there is my little album and it looks like a little wallet. I can put this money and everything in there too. I think that is cute. So, I think I'll go ahead and get my twine and put on here. So let's open this back up and see what we've got. So I can put his money and whatever right there. And you know, I might use this, because he loves his Papa's truck. And his Papa's truck is a almost that color. This is something that I just cut out and stuck in your kit. I just thought it was cute and it went with the paper collection. Let me show you that truck on here. So look at that, isn't that cute? It's a flower shop truck, so I just thought that went with it nicely. So I think I'm gonna put that down right there. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this congrats out. This is the die that is in your kit. 
I'm going to cut that out and put it right on the truck right there. I think it will fit perfect. Yes. Okay, so let's cut this out of, I think I'm just going to use some of this cream paper to put it right across there. That die cuts really, really good. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So see right here, you've got that pocket. And I, I do think I'm going to go ahead and cover across that pocket right there. All right, so we're going to round this piece, and I'll tell you what size this is. This one is one and three quarter by three and a half. And we're going to put that right there. And then I cut this out of the paper pack. It says, be yourself. Life is too short to be someone else. And I think that goes great with graduation because so many of them try to graduate and go out there and be something that they're not supposed to be. And then I also cut this out of the paper collection. It says bloom and grow. And I'm going to put that right below that. You could stamp on this or do whatever. I'm just using some of the little pieces of ephemera from the paper collection. Okay, now you can go ahead and put pockets on a lot of these others if you want to, to tuck things in there. I'm going to leave mine as it is because I don't want to get it too complicated. But um, this is a sweet little album that I'm going to put his pictures in for every year that he was in school. I'll have to go dig them out of my other albums that I've got made up, but now I'm going to put my twine in there. Let me grab it. Okay, so I have just run my twine up through here. I'm going to bring it around the album, and then I'm going to run it back under these front pieces right here. So I'm going to run that one under that side, and then I'm going to run this one the opposite way. There we go. So I'm just going to tie one little knot in there so that he can get it out. I'm not going to tie a bow or anything like that. So I'm going to trim these off a little bit. There we go. Now I cut this off of one of the tags and it just says enjoy. And I'm going to glue that right under there on the front. Now to kind of dress that little tag up just a little bit, I'm going to use some black pearls here. And then I have a little black heart that I'm going to put on here because he does hold the key to my heart. And that's all that I'm going to do to his little album. Now, making this for a girl, you could dress it up a lot more. You wouldn't have to leave it in the colors that this is. You could use the other side of the paper, put the flowers and all of that on the front side and that would be really cute but it's a nice little album and you can include gift cards photos everything in here and just hand it to them okay guys that is the first project for our kit club for may and that is the e-kit club the information will be below so if you want to check that out if you're not already a member then go on over and check that our club out we are having a ball so I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you guys later with another project. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.